Welcome to Anessa Yoga. For today's class you will need a strap or a belt and also if it's easier for you we will be needing the block or a book but we don't need them right now. Start off in a comfortable seated position. Eyes closed and let's focus on that breathing. Inhale with the tummy expanding. Exhale with the tummy towards the spine. And do this at your own pace. We're really going to be focusing on the postures today with the breath. So I really want you to concentrate on that inhale and the exhale. We're going to sit here for a couple of more minutes. Focus on your breathing. Relax the shoulders. And enjoy this time on the mat. Just breathing. And when you're ready, gently open up the eyes. Let's come on to all fours on the mat. Hands flat on the mat, directly under the shoulders. Knees hip width apart, directly under the hips. Let's take that left arm straight out in front of us and the right leg straight to the back. We're going to take five breaths here. Looking straight down onto the mat. Release the arms and the knee down to the mat. Let's do the other side. Right arm straight out in front of us. Left leg straight out behind us, foot pointing down. Take five breaths here. Don't worry about counting the breaths. I'm going in my five breaths. And the hands and knees come back down to the mat. Let's take the hands forward of hand width in front. And let's come up into plank. Nice flat back. Lower those hips. And breathe. We're taking five breaths here. Warming up the core.
Then slowly release the knees down to the mat. Let's take the knees mat width apart, feet together at the back, and push down into child's pose. We take five breaths here. The breathing is so nice here. You have room for the tummy to expand. You can feel the breath coming into the shoulders and into the back. Enjoy. Let's come up and into downward facing dog. Let's tuck those toes, lift those hips. Feet are hip width apart. Press that tummy towards the thighs. A nice stretch on the back legs. And keep breathing. We're doing 10 breaths here, so a little bit longer. And slowly walk the hands towards the feet. Coming into half fold here. Hands on the shins or hands on the knees. Five breaths here. Let's go into a full fold, hands towards the mat. Knees can be slightly bent here if that's more comfortable for you. We're taking five breaths. Bend those knees, hands on the hips, and slowly come back up. We're coming into mountain pose now, so I want the feet together, toes touching. Arms out to the side, shoulders relaxed, chin parallel to the ground. Five breaths here. I want you to bend the knees, the arms come up over the head, chair pose. Make sure that chin's parallel to the ground. Working the legs, working the thighs, keep breathing. We're taking five of my breaths here. Palms together at the top, straighten those knees, hands down to the chest. Let's do that one more time, bend the knees, arms up towards the ceiling. Come back just one centimeter. Relax those shoulders, five of my breaths. Palms together, straighten the knees, hands to the heart. Well done. Let's come to the front of the mat and come into warrior pose. So let's take the left foot to the back, heel to heel alignment. Knee over the ankle, make sure you can see the tips of the toes. Arms straight out. Looking into the middle finger of the right hand, we're taking 10 breaths here. Make sure those shoulders are relaxed. Engage the legs by squeezing the glutes. 
nice, strong warrior two. Keep breathing. Lower the arms and let's bring that left foot to the front. Let's do warrior two on the other side, right foot to the back, heel to heel alignment. Bend that left knee, make sure you can see the tips of the toes. Arms out to the side, shoulders relaxed. Ten of my breaths here. Engage those legs. Make sure the shoulders are relaxed. Release the arms, let's bring that right foot to the front. Warrior pose again, let's take that left foot to the back. Heel to heel alignment, arms out to the side and right arm down to the mat. This is where you may want your block. Left arm all the way up to the ceiling and breathe. If looking up to the palm of your hand is too much after a while, you can look directly straight ahead of you. I want any tension in the neck. Engage the legs. Engage the arms. Keep breathing. Left arm comes down to the mat, left foot comes in, in out, slowly come back up. Let's do that on the other side, right foot to the back. Bend that left knee, let's go down to the side, left arm down to the mat or onto the block, right arm straight up to the ceiling. Engage those legs, nice strong arms, ten of my breaths here. Let's bring down that right arm, right foot comes to the front and slowly come back up. I'm coming into triangle pose now. Again, same warrior stance on the other side, left leg back. Right knee straight, arm straight out in front of you, tilt forward and take that right arm down to the mat. Again, use your block or the book if need be. Left arm goes straight up to the ceiling. Feel that stretch in the right leg. Keep breathing. Ten of my breaths here.
Bend that right knee, left arm comes down, left leg to the front, slowly come back up. Let's do the other side. Right foot to the back, heel to heel alignment. Straighten that left knee, arms out to the side, tilt forward and left arm down to the mat or onto the block. Right arm straight up to the side. Nice strong legs, 10 of my breaths here. No strain on the neck. Let's bend that left knee, arm comes down to the mat, right foot to the front and slowly come back up to standing. Well done. Let's come to the side of the mat, feet out to the side, toes pointing forward. If you put your hands out to the side, ankles should be underneath the wrists, hands on the hips and fold forward down to the mat. Arms come straight down to the mat. Elbows bent. Looking towards the back of the room. Eight of my breaths here. Make sure you relax that neck, no tension in the neck. Just feel the stretch in the back of the legs. And try and come forward one centimeter. Feel the difference in the legs. Keep breathing. Micro bend those knees forward, hands on the hips, and slowly come back up. And come into a standing position on the mat. And come into some balancing poses now. Let's so find that position in front of the mat to focus on. Let's ground that left leg into the mat. Right foot comes up onto the th onto the leg, wherever is comfortable for you, arms up to the ceiling, palms touching, and breathe, eight of my breaths here. And if you're wobbling a bit today, that's fine, just focus on your breathing. Ground that leg into the mat. And release the arms and release the legs. Let's do the other side, right leg grounded into the mat. Find that position to focus on in front of you. Bring the left leg up, arms up to the ceiling. Relax those shoulders. Eight of my breaths here.
Release the arms and release the legs. Now we're going to come into Eagle Pose. Let's go on to that ground, that left foot, left leg. Right foot comes over to the top, arms out to the side. Interlace the hands and the palms together and let's bend down on that left knee as if we're about to sit down onto a chair. Lift those elbows up just one centimeter and breathe eight of my breaths here. Arms out to the side, straighten the leg, arms come down. Let's do the other leg. Ground that right leg into the mat. Left knee comes over right knee, arms out to the side. Interlace the hands, bend that right knee like you're sitting down onto a chair. And lift those elbows up one centimeter. Breathe and focus. Arms out to the side. Legs down to the mat. Well done. Let's come into downward facing dog. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Feet to the back of the mat. We're going to take 10 breaths here. So really focus on the alignment here. Nice, strong arms. Pushing the belly towards the thighs. Lift the hips straight up to the ceiling and feel the stretch in the back of the legs. And let's come into plank now. Lower those hips. Five breaths. No strain in the neck. Keep breathing. And gently release everything down to the mat. I want you flat on the mat, legs right out at the back, forward onto the mat, arms out in front of you. So lift that left arm and right leg off the mat and breathe five of my breaths here. and release the arm and the leg down to the mat. Let's do the other side now. Right arm entirely off the mat, left leg entirely off the mat and breathe. No strain in the neck. and release down to the mat.
We're taking both arms off the mat and both legs off the mat. Five of my breaths here. Make sure you're looking down towards the mat, no strain on the neck. and release everything down to the mat. I want to bring, ask you to bring yourself up now. Come to a seated position onto the mat. This is also the time to have your strap handy. Place it to one side of the mat. And let's come down onto our back into a lying position. Back flat on the mat, feet flat on the floor, hip width apart, as close to the sitting bones as possible. Arms flat on the mat. Inhale the hips up, exhale the hips down to the mat. Inhale up. Exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, and let's stay here, keep breathing, keep inhaling and exhaling, it'll be for six of my breaths. Interlace the hands under the mat, under your back, along the mat, if this is comfortable for you. Just keep breathing. Unclasp the hands and gently release the hips down to the mat. Bring the knees into the chest and give yourself a hug. Let's do that one more time. Feet flat on the mat, palms flat on the mat. Inhale, hips up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up and let's stay here. Continue with your breathing. Six of my breaths. And slowly release the hips down to the mat. Bring the knees into the chest and give yourself a hug. Let's take that left foot down to the mat. Let's grab the strap. Place it around the balls of the feet. Make sure your shoulders are flat on the mat. And get a nice stretch in the hamstrings. Six of my breaths here. Really make sure that your shoulders are flat on the mat. Take the strap into the right hand, place the left hand on the left hip. Let's take that right foot down to the side as far as you can go. Six of my breaths here. Shoulders relaxed on the mat.
bring that leg back up to center, swap hands with the straps, right arm out to the side, right leg over to the left, head facing the opposite way, shoulders relaxed on the mat, six of my breaths here. And let's bring that leg back up to center, release the strap and release the leg down to the mat. Let's do the other side, left leg up to center, place the strap around the balls of the feet, straighten the leg, make sure your shoulders are relaxed on the mat. Six of my breaths here. Grope hold of the strap with the left arm and just take that left leg down to the side just as far as you can go. Right hand on right hip. Six of my breaths here. Bring that left leg back up to center, release the strap, release the leg down to the mat. Let's bring the knees back up to center, take your hands between the feet, onto the soles of the feet, and bring the knees out to the side, happy baby pose. Five of my breaths here. Make sure those shoulders are relaxed on the mat. Then let go of the soles of the feet, bring the knees into the chest and give yourself a hug. Five of my breaths here. And grab hold underneath your knees. And just rock yourself up into a seated position. Legs together, feet at 90 degree angle at the end. Relax those shoulders, chin parallel to the ground. Five of my breaths here. Now we're going to a seated forward fold. You can either use a strap or bring yourself down gently. Shoulders relaxed. Five of my breaths here.
and gently bring yourself up into a seated position. Take the legs as wide out as possible as you can. Feet at a 90 degree angle. You can either sit straight up with your hands behind you if you're feeling the stretch. If you want more of a stretch, let's fold forward and hold on to the ankles or the toes. And we're taking 10 of my breaths here. Relax those shoulders. No strain in the neck. Keep breathing. And slowly bring yourself back up. Let's bring the soles of the feet together. Then to clasp the hands around the feet and gently push onto the shins. Relax the shoulders and breathe. Ten of my breaths here. And gently come back up, bring the knees together and come into a comfortable seated position. We're just going to finish off the class with some mindful breathing. Relax the shoulders. Hands placed on the knees wherever is comfortable for you. Nice tall spine, chin parallel to the ground. And just let go of the breathing, breathe naturally. Again, just enjoy this time to yourself on the mat. and gently open up the eyes. I hope you enjoyed the class today and thanks for joining me.